Hello and welcome to a video demonstration of the new CAD enhancements available in Triple Business Center version 4.00. The new features are as follows. There is a new mode allowing users to draw orthogonal lines to previously drawn line segments. New arc definitions have been added to the line string command. The match properties command has been enhanced. A divide line command has been added and multi-line text and label enhancements have been created to simplify the user workflow. Let's get started. First off, let's discuss the new orthogonal line command. It can be accessed through the snap button down here by right clicking, going over to the ortho snaps tab, and selecting ortho tracking on. This allows users to quickly and easily create lines that are 90 degrees orthogonal to previous line segments. You can see I create this line here at 45 degrees, and I have this snap that's 90 degrees from the previous segment. It'll snap to the side, to the front, to the other side and to the back. We'll also have snaps at the cardinal direction straight north, east, south, and west. This orthogonal snap could be useful for something like this where maybe you're trying to trace out the footprint of this house that you have scan data from. So we'll turn on our polyline and we'll pick an outside corner here and we'll zoom out and we'll go to our other corner, about somewhere in here. And now our ortho tracking is still on. So we'll see it activate now. You can see the crosshair there saying that that's our orthogonal position. We'll go to this corner. We'll kind of line that up with the edge here and make sure we're orthogonal. We'll go down to the other corner. We'll do the same thing. We'll stop that there for demonstration. Select this line. Zoom out, see if it's pretty good. We can turn off the visibility just to see it a bit better. And we can measure the angle here. We should see it's a nice 90 degrees. So now I want to talk about the new arc definition in TBC. Say we're looking at this plan here and we want to lay out this line segment. So we have this straight segment for our drawn with an azimuth of 40, 05, 53 distance of 490.15. I'm going to start drawing this curve where we have three components. We have the arc length being 1263.62, a delta angle D of 72.2400, and a radius R of 1000. So back in the TVC now, we'll select this segment that I already started drawing. We'll edit it. I want to add a new segment to it. And we're going to be adding an arc. So we'll select tangent arc here. And this leaves a few new options. There's bearing and arc length, radius and arc length, and delta angle and arc length. So radius and arc length are two things that are known from that plan. So we'll try this one first. Our radius was 1,000. Our arc length was 1,263.62. We want our curve to go to the right. And hit enter and there's our curve created. I'll undo that. I'll try the other curve. We have the delta angle and arc lengths. So our delta angle is 72, 24, 0, 0. And again, our arc length of 1263.62. So this is a quick demonstration of the new arc definitions that we have in TBC 4.00. In TBC version 4.0, we've enhanced the match properties command. These new properties that can be matched are an object's name, block rotation scale, feature code, and attributes. It's important to note, however, that not all object types will have all these properties. For example, block rotation scale is only applicable to blocks. It's also important to note that different object types can't be matched to each other. For example, even though both a line and a point have a name property, they cannot be matched. Let's look at a workflow here where you might want to edit a mislabeled feature code from the field. We use point 1101 as our source object, or the object we want to copy our properties from. We'll say it has a feature code of BT, which is a broadleaf tree. 
and it has these attributes of a trunk of 0 0.33, a spread of 8, and a type of elm. So the easiest way to open our match properties is simply right click, scroll down to match properties here. This opens up our match properties command. Now you'll see it auto populates point 1101 as a source object and asks for target objects. So we'll say in this case point 0.933 was mislabeled in the field and we want it to be a broadleaf tree too. So we'll click on it. We'll see it changes automatically. We'll close this and we'll examine our new point 0.933. And you can see that the feature code is BT. The feature broadleaf tree, the trunk 0.33 spread of 8 and type of L. So it's now the exact same as point 1101. So I'll undo what I just did and we'll go through a similar workflow. We'll open up our match properties again. But this time I'm going to choose to select target attributes. This opens a new dialog that allows you to copy only specific attributes that you want. So let's say we only want to copy the trunk and the spread. So we'll uncheck Elm and Photo. And we'll hit OK. And again, we'll pick 0.933 as our target object. And it applies automatically. And once again, we'll look at the properties at this point. And now we can see that we only have the trunk and the spread populated. This is just another way that TBC allows users to edit and prep their data more efficiently. Another new CAD feature we have in version 4.0 is the divide line command. This can be accessed through the Edit tab. Under the Lines group, we have the Divide command. This can be used in cadastral applications if you're maybe doing a subdivision and you have a certain amount of lots you want to subdivide between two points, or in more construction applications where you have a bunch of grid lines you want to specify at a certain distance. So these are the two main options we have for this command. The Divide by Number of Separated Objects that will create a user specified amount of objects of equal length from a line. And we also have the divide by length, which will create a predetermined amount of lines, all equal to the user specified length. So we'll do this one as an example, and we'll go a distance of 25. We have horizontal length and slope length here if you're dealing with 3D lines. This is a 2D line, so we'll leave it as horizontal. Now if we scroll down, we have some more options. We can create cab points each division. I'll turn that on just as a visual indicator. We also have this other option to create orthogonal lines at each division. I'll turn that one on too for demonstration. And it's going to ask for a line distance. So maybe say 15. And you can create it to the left or to the right of this line. We'll just leave the left for now. And lastly, we have the ability to create cab points at the end of these orthogonal lines we're creating. So we'll leave that off for now. So last, we'll ask you to pick your object you want to divide. You can do a single segment, or if you have multiple lines you want to divide all the same, then you can use the multi-select to select all those. So let's divide this line we have here. And there it is. You can see we have our CAD points create each division along with these orthogonal lines. So now with this line we've created, I'll show off some of the new CAD tools we have in the multi-line labeling and text editing. So if you recall, these were supposed to be 25 meter allocations for divide and 15 meters on the orthogonal lines. So we'll go into our drafting and we'll go into our line labeler and we'll select this portion here and this portion here. So in previous versions of TBC, these were separate entities, but now they come in as one block. You can see our distance and our azimuth are combined. When we move them, they move together. Go you know, same down here. If we create leader lines, then they move together as well. If you do want to go back to how it was done before in TBC, it's quite easy. You can select your label, you go into the Edit tab, or Transform. You can choose to explode it. Our block's already selected, so we'll hit OK. And now they're independent. They're still tied to the label. We can create layer lines again, but this time they're separate. And along with that, again in the drafting, under text, over in text editor, and we have this text block here. 
And now in TBC, you can use enter to create a new line. You say multi-line text. In previous versions, you had to use the cursor to move up and down a line. Um, but now it's just a little bit easier. So there's just a few enhancements to drafting we've done in TBC 4.0 to make drafting even more efficient. This concludes our demonstration of the new CAD features in TBC version 4.00. Thanks for watching.